MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Reno Aces and the Columbus Clippers. Next to bat will be Nick Heath. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. A 1 1. Misses for the second ball. Temperature here at the park tonight a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. To 2 and 2 now. Playing two balls, two strikes. Here's the pitch. Down is full. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Rounded That's down the third baseline. The next 3-2. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time, and the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. Now at the plate, here is Alec Thomas. And he lays ball, off no. this one down and in for ball two. No. Three and one. Tristan English Three, will be next. Three balls and a strike. Here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. off here ball four and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away and now Tristan English first shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away the one one misses ball two use the slide step there Danny yeah he's clearly thinking about the steal right here didn't happen but the cat mouse game continues on Thomas stands at first with one out Swing and a miss, two and two, two now. Two. Runners on the move for second. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. And another foul ball. So a good eye there as he works the count back full. Got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation. As an offensive player, just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. So 1-1 one, one home. Strike two, swinging. In a big spot like this, you have to be looking for something you can handle. That pitch bunched him up completely. So I think he's trying to do a little bit too much right now. To two balls and two strikes now. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground to third. Right to him. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Ready now is Gabriel Arias. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here comes the payoff pitch. Full count still. The next three, two. And he ball takes four. ball that? four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless that ball game. The left field. Digging in, the switch Tyler. hitter, Tyler Krieger, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Yeah, he's not quite ball. as powerful from the left side. He's certainly two not one. Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right handed. Ball even at two and two. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. 
fastball. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Batting third. Stepping in next, Nolan Jones. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. There's That's ball, ball four. So first and second with one down. And the next Static to bat will be Josh Naylor. Hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, look at the dive. Oh, but it's a wide throw to second, and they can't get the out. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. So following the error, it's now runners at first and second. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. Lifted down the line in left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Batting six. The center fielder. Next to hit is George Valera. Jones at second. Naylor at first. Two out in the inning. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Three and one here, you have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. Three and two now. He set the payoff pitch, and it's fouled away. The payoff pitch. Popped him up. English is there for it. And that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Ben Deluzio. The 3 2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Now to the plate, Jamie Ritchie. The catcher, Jamie Ritchie. Here comes the 1 2. Smoke toward third. He's right there. Throw gets him. Out. Two down. Digging in next, Andy Young. He'll work on keeping this Andy top of the second alive. Young. The one. Fouled off. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Digging in will be Ernie Clement. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 1-1 home is looked at oh. for ball number two. And that one yanked just foul. The 2-2. Now a shot out toward the alley in right center. Around first, digging for two. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. Into the box now, Ryan LaVarnway. Got him to go after the change there, and that'll run things full three and two. Fastball three, three. called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now Batting to the nine. plate, here is the Aaron Bracho. Aaron Bracho. 3-2 pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Heath is there, two gone. Next up, Gabriel Arias. No second trip 13. to the plate for him. He Good drew a leadoff walk in the home first. 
Hey, going back to his first at bat, that was a terrific at bat. Saw a lot of pitches, and one of the things you want to do is try to one, drive two. that pitch count up early on the starting pitcher. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. And he'll he step out. on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Drew Ellis. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Drew Ellis is retired to start the third. 1 1 home is taken ball. for ball two. Two ball, one strike. And he ball can't three. catch the corner here, so he's behind three, three and one. one strike. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Two down, no one on base. And that'll bring up Nick Heath. Nick Heath. One and two. Here it comes. And just a masterful job of pitching here as he strikes out the side in order. Played is Tyler Krieger, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. And that's the first down. And now in the now box, Maddie. Nolan Third Jones. Nolan. Jones. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike Wayne number Rose. two. One ball, two this strikes. pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you. Popped him up. He'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. A 1 1. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. To two Playing balls two and two ball, strikes two now. This is on the ground over to first. He's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Ball set for the start of the fourth, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Alec Thomas. Still a big bagel in that hit column, and this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Wow, that's four straight Ks. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. At the plate now, Tristan English. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. And that's oh. high for a ball, it's two and two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Full count, three and 
and two. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Striding in is Seth Beer. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. 1 1 home. Pitch inside the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. The 2 1 home. Fly ball right down the line in left. But this will wind up being a foul ball. The 2 2. Lazy fly ball out to center field. Arias trying to get there, and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Next will be the designated hitter, Ben Deluzio. A potential tying run for him at third base. Ready with the 2 1. Slow roller down the third baseline. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Daniel Johnson. One one pitch and a nice call for the change. It's one and two. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by now him for the first down. The center field. Bases are empty. One sure. man out. Grounded up the first baseline. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number out. two. Stepping in once again now, is Ernie Clement. One hitter. for one Ernie. as he reached base with a double his first oh, time man. up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind one and two. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The next one two pitch. Ground ball left side. Scooped up. Throw in time and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Jamie Ritchie. And he lays off upstairs, but it's Three, ruled a strike, ball, and he can't strike. believe it. One and two. Hit back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. Now back. Second base. And Stepping in now. Andy Young. No. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Take ball four. First and second now with nobody out. Now batting. Third so eight. now into the box Ooh. is Drew Ellis oh. trying here to plate the tying run from second. The 3 2 pitch is swung on and missed. He got him. Next up is Geraldo Perdomo. Struck out in his first at bat. Well, yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see 
if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Now a swing and a fly ball. Krieger is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Now back to the top of the lineup, yeah, stepping in. Nick Heath struck out yeah. in his last trip to the plate. Yeah. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and now it'll be the catcher, Ryan LaVarnway. Down the first baseline. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So now here is Aaron Braccio comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now with the plate, Gabriel Arias. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. Popped him up. And he will indeed make the play in foul territory to retire the side. Now into the box, Alec Thomas. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches. Swing, and he launches this one to deep left field. A leap, but he won't get it. It's off the wall. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Now back the first Tristan In now, Tristan English. Hit in the air down the left field line. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the run will score on the sacrifice fly as that will square things at one to one. So the next to bat will be Seth Beer. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. Popped high in the air. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now it'll be Ben Deluzio over two for him to this point. Deluzio. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Well below the knees laid off on the changeup there. He got ahead with two good fastballs and then tried to drop the changeup to see if he'd be out in front. Did a great job of laying off that pitch right there. Interested to see where he goes now. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Bottom of the inning now. And set to go is the switch hitting outfielder, Tyler Krieger. Now the three and two pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. Thomas will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Next to stand now in is it. Nolan Northern Jones. Baseman. In his last Nolan. at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder. And thus, the result was a terrible pop-up foul. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Number number 22. Standing in now, Josh Naylor. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Into the box, Daniel Johnson, who sat down on strikes in his last at bat. 
Jones is off the first with two away. And he misses two and one. Two one. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Jones rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Now batting, better fielder. Into the box, George Valera. And oh, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Matt Peacock trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Ernie Clement will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder is on the move. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. Now to bat, Jamie Ritchie. He's one for two in the ball game. Two and two. Playing two, two, two. And he fouls this one off. Here's another two, two. Swing and a liner. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's a tough first out. The batter number 50. Next, it'll be Andy Young. 0 Andy. for 1 for him here in this one. Young. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. A dive, and oh, he can't hang on. And there's your tying run at second base with a one-out double. Nick Sandlin comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. LA. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. Now, pitching for Clippers, number 52. To the plate now, Drew Ellis. Yeah. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitchers duel, two to one, our score. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now, so a big at bat coming up and it'll be Geraldo Perdomo and he represents the potential go ahead run. He set the payoff pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And it's fouled away. Takes ball four, ball four. Takes so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Big spot here. First and second, two men gone, and that'll bring up Nick Heath. The set and the one one. Big spot. Two out, possible tying and go ahead runs on base. Inside with the slider, two and two. Now two and two, two on, two out. This is one you have to make a pitch right here. The last thing you want to do is run the count full to three and two. Oh. Then the runners are going to be off to the races. Full count, full count now. Ball, he set the three two, ball, and he ball, misses shoot ball shoot four. Shot. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Now batting the left fielder. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. One and one. Here it is. Lifted down the line in left. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Ready with the one-two. Fastball right back to the mound. And they get the force at home. Whatever works as the side is retired. At the plate now is Ryan LaVarnway. 
Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. To short. Right to him. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Next to hit, Aaron Bracho. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Swing and a liner. But this is going to land foul, so they'll tee it up again. Three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And there are two away now. So next to hit is Gabriel Arias. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air down the left field line. And foul. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied down the left field line. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Leading off the inning, it'll be Tristan English, and they could use a spark from him here. Here it comes on one and one. has a play and that's the first out of the inning next will be the cleanup hitter yeah, right. Seth Beer He's hitless in three at bats to this point the 1-1 home gets a swing and a miss nice slider at the knees and this is swung on and missed two are quickly retired to start inning number eight James Karinchek enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Ben Deluzio. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Again, he sends it out of play. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. So here is Jamie Ritchie. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out and walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Fouled off. Try it 2 2. Takes this the other way to right. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. The batter number 50. Second base. Andy. Into the box now. Young. Andy Young. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike. And the inning is over. Stefan Kreitman is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Tyler Krieger. Now the three and two pitch. Here's a high pop-up. English is under it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. 
Up next, now Nolan Jones. He enters this at bat, no one for way. two with a walk. One one. Takes a pass and misses. One, That's strike two. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And he'll lay oh, off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even strike. now at two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got Down jammed four, earlier. Ball, if you're on the strike. mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Richie corrals it, and the throw is made yeah, to record the second out of the inning. And now here is Josh Naylor. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Three two pitch. And that one's taken outside for a ball. He walked him. So no one two three inning here. They've got themselves a two out base runner. The one one is offered at but missed one ball in my strike. opinion one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up just a heavy sinker with good downward action ball. too much dip on the sinker laid off for a ball wow kind of an interesting pitch call there the batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one so you think you'd go right back there but instead they decided to come in make him prove he can adjust before you do 2 2 one more time. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Cam Hill comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So striding in to start the ninth is Drew Ellis. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. one pitch just one behind ball. the fastball one there ball. two, two strikes, strikes now he knows full well he's sitting on a hat trick right here all he's trying to do is avoid the golden sombrero and he'll strike out here yet again as it's been a ball game to forget thus far four strikeouts next to dig in Geraldo Perdomo he's hitless in his two at bats so far here it comes on one and one a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. And that misses two and two. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And he strikes him out as well. So two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Nick Keith trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Now a drive out to left center field. He's around first, heading for two. And hold all tickets now as the tying run gets into scoring position with a two out double. At the plate, Alec Thomas. And this will be a called strike two. In trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Hey, this offense has this closer in trouble right here. They have to find a way to keep applying pressure. I don't know. Everybody top step in the dugout. Get on this guy and make him nervous. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Big win here. Airtight defense. The pitching was pretty good, too. It's kind of weird. Very rarely are you going to win very many games when you only get three hits. Timely hitting, good pitching, and big defense still can win you ball games. Close one tonight, 2-1 to one, the final score. The Clippers wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Shane Bieber pitches well enough to get the W. Number 25 makes the loss despite allowing only one earned and one unearned run.
So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show.